government at some point came up with the idea of cheating with the inflation rates, making changes in the indexes and the methodologies for measuring inflation, and eventually um, this um, led to a severe distortion in the way in which the government measure inflation and in what is called as, uh, it's known as the index prices. So the, the index that measures the monthly evolution of um, goods. In that context, uh, a group of social scientists, academics, NGOs, and even some um, representatives from provincial governments uh, reach out to us because they wanted to know what the real inflation was, and for that purpose they needed to know the methodology that was being used by the government to measure inflation. Okay, first, we asked the government to uh, release the methodology they used to measure inflation, and they denied that information. The government rejected our, our request, and therefore we resorted to, uh, to a court of justice. The main arguments that we use, um, well, on the one hand, Argentina has a presidential decree that uh, acknowledges the right to access to public information. Um, this, this decree allows you to request information from any agency or body within the executive branch, but not within the judicial branch or the legislative branch. That, that decree acknowledge the right to access to public information and that the methodology used by the National Institute of uh, Statistics to measure inflation was public information. Therefore, we submitted an injunction to court and uh, eventually we win uh, at, the, at the lower circuit court and we also won at the Chamber of Appeals Court. So we asked the government to disclose the exactly list of uh, 132 items that were being measured, and eventually the government was forced to disclose this information. They were forced by the judge to put it on the internet, so it became accessible to all. That was very helpful, not only for us, that we believe we made a very important achievement in terms of um, access to information, but it was also very useful for economists, for social scientists, for researchers at universities, because at the end of the day, inflation is key for, um, for knowing the real index of poverty in a country. You don't know how much your money is worth, and it's very important to assess how, for example, how much a poor family needs for making a decent living. So, on that regard, we got very valuable information. It triggered a process of public debate about what was the most accurate uh, methodology for measuring inflation. And since 2008, uh, when we submitted this, this case report, there's still a debate, a public debate, a very serious debate about the need for improving uh, official statistics and the, for the need of improving uh, access to information poli pol policies within the executive branch. We noticed that at the beginning of our work that the government was, um, uh, was very reluctant to disclose information. So we started, we engaged in litigation from the very beginning of our access to public information activities. Later on, we noticed that there were some areas of the decree that were not completely clear, and also that there were some gaps in, the, in, the, in this regulation. So we decided to, to litigate strategically these areas uh, that were a bit shady in order to get clarification from, from judges. Uh, on that regard, we had given discussions in court about, for example, the, the validity of secret laws and secret decrees. We also uh, challenged several exemptions or the interpreta interpretation of several exemptions in the presidential decree. For NGOs and, and activists, according to our experience, 
you need to build bridges with society. You need, you need to build links and bridges to different sectors of society to, to help them notice the, the importance of access to public information. In general, at least in Latin America, there is a, there is a culture of, of secrecy and opacity and both you know, uh, government officials and uh, the average citizen believe that the information that the government has is, is, is secret. It belongs to the government, and you know there's no reason why the the citizens should access to that information. And for us, it was a big challenge to make a clear point and a clear case with citizens that they have a right. I think it's very important to to have a to have a, um, a timeline for uh, implementing or for making advocacy to have several parallel strategies. You need to have a litigation strategy, you need to have an advocacy strategy, you need to have a communications strategy, you need to have an, an alliance strategy, and it's very important to have these two, two issues in mind. You need to be prepared to give a, 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 a long, let's say, let's say, discussion or a long war, uh, and at the same time you need to build alliances and you need to implement many parallel strategies at the same time in order to maximize your resources and enhance the chances of, of achieving uh, reforms.